And let's establish our three pillars. They uh, will feel the balls of your feet. We're opening up the energy gate to the bubbling spring, opening up the earth chi, in the balls of the feet, feel the toes. These are relaxed. Feel your body sinking down. You know, the idea for Sun, the image that sometimes you'll, you'll hear about is that you take a bag of rice, like a hundred pound bag of rice, and you take a knife and at the base of it, and the rice spills out onto the floor. And that's the way you want to feel. You want to feel your rice is spilling out of the bag and it's spreading out. You know, your base is getting very dense. You want to feel the crown of the head. Reach up to the heavens with that and open the bai hui. The bai hui is um, one interpretation I heard of it, I, I like is that the the mud pill is the technical or the literal translation, and it's a metaphor for the pineal gland. So it's accessible. You're, there's a um, a yin and a yang by uh, we and to the to the uh, the third eye, six or the uh, upper dantian, as well as the crown of the head. So those two are the poles in opposition. The crown of the head is the yang pole. The the uh, upper dantian is the yin pole. So you're reaching with the crown of your head, and you're opening up. The yang chi of the heaven. So you're you're sinking, feeling that that bag of rice spilling out on the floor. At the same time, you're reaching up with the crown, tuning into that. Relax your lower back and feel the toxic feel that dropping. Feel the way blue at the uh, the ganglion impar that the uh, on the uh, on the coccyx on the tailbone, the nerve plexus there. And that's for the energy center. Just, you're holding that in opposition with the crown. So you're opening up the spine as you do that, tucking the chin and open up the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull. I hope you don't mind if I just. Gently, slowly talk you through all this because it's important. Even though I know you're getting it, getting access to this third three pillars much faster, good to go back over it and do it as a meditation. Just you know, refamiliarize yourself each time with the, with the different components. So we've established the central equilibrium. Now you want to point your index fingers, feel your hands, feel the chi there. You could be feeling some tingling, pulsing, heat, mental fullness. This is creating a state of wholeness throughout the whole body mind. It's coherence. It's activating the connective tissues just by pointing and reaching, you're signaling the connective tissue system, reminding yourself of how everything is in your whole body mind is, is united. The living matrix of your connective tissue system. And 
Reach with your elbows, your arms are slightly rounded. Shoulders are very relaxed. Ball the left foot, set the left knee and spiral down to the left. You're releasing the claw without pushing your butt out to the side. You're just rotating. Now you feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee and spiral down to the right, releasing the claw on the right. Getting some claw back to center. We're going to turn to the side so you can see me in profile. So, I want to put your right foot forward. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee. So, we're establishing our center of equilibrium now here. But the weight at 70 30, releasing. The claw, and as you release the claw, each time you do, you want to coordinate to release the claw. We're sinking into the right leg, so we're going to release here at the, the inguinal crease where the thigh meets the torso. And you reach with the elbows slightly. So as you're spiraling down, there's just a gentle reaching with the elbows. So you want to get that, it becomes like automatic. But still, you're feeling it, you're still very aware of doing it but it's not something you have to remember to do. It's just something you do. So spiral down, you reach with the elbows, good. So you feel the, the ball, the right foot's at the right knee, you feel that right elbow, reach with the wrist, and we're going into a ward off posture here. And turn. So we've gone from yin to yang. There's an expansion here. So now we're going to feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee. Actually, we're going to do it in the back, but we're going to keep this real simple. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, and spiral down to the right. And as you do that, turn and open. When I say open, all you're doing is your elbow is set, and you're just reaching out that arm as your body turns. I'll do it facing you so you can see what's, what's here. So I'm here like this. I'm going to feel the ball set the knee. And as I turn, as I, uh, I'm going to, as I turn, my, my relationship of my elbow to my body remains the same. What changes is the arm reaches out a little bit. Like that. So we're just doing like this very gently. Very, oh, we're opening up like that. Okay. And I was saying left knee. so. We're doing it left knee. So let's so all the left foot, set the left knee and spiral down to the right. So we're doing all this back weighted. And the left hand just rotates like this. We're going like this, we're opening. So that's an expansion. Even though the quad is yin, the arms are reaching out. Because we're going from yang to yin. So left ball, set the left knee. And we're going to turn now. And as we turn, you want to reach with the elbows again. And turn the body and continue to extend outward as you do that. You're maintaining a constant distance between the arms as you get down. You're reaching out the whole time. Elbows are reaching, fingers are reaching, wrists are reaching. So even though the direction of the energy regarding your body is down and in, right? Boom, like this, there is this young component. So there's, there's still this quality of reaching, even though it's in. So the mistake that I see that people do when they're 
you know, trying to make sense of this posture, which doesn't work at a mechanical level, only works at an energetic level, is they're, they're collapsing the structure. They're coming in, they're, they're bringing the arms in, they're folding, and the arms are getting limp as they're, as they're coming down and, it, and are mystified that it doesn't work. And that's because it's the, a key even at the highest levels, there is this quality of reaching. So as you're coming in like this, oh, you're, you're reaching and you're feeling that connection. This is what activates the connective tissue system and activates the connection throughout the whole, the whole body mind. So we're back here at, at, at Ward Up. We're going to go back into the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the right, and open. So you're reaching with the elbows, reaching with the wrists, reaching with the fingers. Remember we talked about right at the beginning there about how you don't want to overextend. So I'm not like, I don't want to go like that. I want to maintain my center of equilibrium. So even though I'm reaching out and, and this has a lot of gin with it, it's all coming from that central pillar. So we're ah oh, we're we're it's plugged into the earth. So there's so there is an extension through the fingers. So here we are. So we're going okay. So we're in the uh, in the uh, the right foot. We're going to feel the ball. The left foot set the left knee spiral down to the right and open. So you're when I say open, you're feeling your elbows. You're feeling your wrists. You're reaching with that. You're reaching with the fingers. You're maintaining your central equilibrium as you do this. Your qua is sung. You're rooted. You're connected. Your fingers are reaching. Feeling that energetic coherence. And now as you turn, feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, and you begin to initiate with the qua, you feel those elbows. You feel the wrists. Why? Because this is what ties it all together. You feel the fingers. So as you're turning very slowly, you're feeling a connection that your the turn of the body is guided by your contact through your left foot. So it is guiding your 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 energy is guiding your the, the turn of the body. It's making that connection. So you're feeling the floor with your fingers. You're feeling the earth with your fingers. Why? Because there's a continuity of energy all the way through the system. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left. You want to reach with the elbows, reach with the wrists, and Turn, and we're not going to do a, a press. We're going to go right back into a ward off. And now we're going to feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the right, and open. Feel the elbows, feel the wrists. Reach with the crown. Feel yourself sinking. Feel this, your claw very soon. And as you turn, feel your elbows, feel your wrists, and turn. Feel a continuity all the way through that posture. So as you're here, you really want to feel it through the shoulder blades. You want to feel it through the shoulders. Reach with your elbows. So. You want that the hands to be really pulsing right now. You want to feel the juice really just jam along. So now we're going to go back into a press again. So feel the ball, set the knee, reach with the elbows, spiral down to the left, and then turn and ward off right.
to the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. Feel the elbows, feel the wrists, feel the fingers. The ball, set the left knee, feel the walk, elbows, wrists, fingers, turn. Yeah. Now we're going to go a little smaller and quieter. So this is this is big, and this is you know I was saying before about you want to start, you want to really get it so that a hundred pounds moves a hundred pounds. Well, this will this will do the trick on that. But now we want to make that leap even smaller. We're going to go feel the ball, the right foot, set the right knee, reach with the elbows, wrists, and. Uh, and Bring the size of the movements down by half. So we're back. You're feeling the same energy in a, in a smaller container. Get the left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. Half as big. Still reaching. Still feeling the connection between the shoulder blades. Feel the elbows, feel the wrists. And turn. Much smaller, quieter. And the right ball, set the right knee, spiral down, elbows, wrists, very much smaller. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. Half of that. And turn. And bringing the same energy and the same power, but the movements have gotten very small. I'm gonna go even smaller now, half of that. Feel your elbows, feel your wrists. Feel the energy between your hands. Feel the chi ball there. Left foot. All right. Turn. Elbows, wrists. Still doing the same stuff. We're just keep making the package a little smaller. Smaller still. Left ball, set the left knee. All right. Left. Smaller still. Right ball, set the right knee. Elbows, wrists. Left ball, left knee, all right. Right ball, right knee. Now don't move, but go through that same pattern. Feel it. Don't just think about it, feel it. Feel yourself spiraling down to the right, opening, left ball, left knee, turn to the left. Back to the right, feel that. Open. And roll back. Feel all those different movements at once. 
without differentiating them. Feel the infinite potentiality within all those movements without expressing them. Come down, step back. Just feel the chi in your body right now. Feel the the flow. Feel the Feel the blood circulating. Feel the movement in stillness. <coughs> the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left, step in. Deep breath. Disappear the chi. Body, the mind, let it all go. You're not attaching to anything, You're just feeling into it. Feeling the emptiness. You're occupying that state of insubstantiality beyond mind, beyond energy. Feeling it to your being. <clears throat> 